It's afterwards what? Build thine house. Build your house. See, because people are going, see, Israel, we're not going to come together. Right? Israel ain't coming together. Israel ain't unified. Right? And what you don't realize, because you're so myopic, because your perception is so myopic, right? How much unity there is. There's unity in one cause. Work. Mm -hmm. We at Zakari are in unison with our UIC. In June! Ain't no Michael Chaps! We at Zakari are in unison with our UIC. Too much study. Too much study has made you crazy, bug out. In June! Ain't no Michael! Believe it or not, companies have already started microchipping employees. You know why? Because we both realize work, 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 work. Watchmen, House of Israel, Sons of Thunder, Light of Zion, unison. Why? Work. The prioritization of the work. Do the work. Work, 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 work. We don't have to stand next to each other. We don't have to all be at the same campsite in order for us to be in one mind that we need to work. In order us to understand the goal in which we are trying to accomplish. Right? Repentance, conversion, salvation. Because if we lead our people to repentance, we facilitate their conversion, that leads to our salvation. Okay. That leads to the manifestation of the return of Hamashiach Yahweh to this earth. Work is what it's going to take for that. Not, oh, I don't like you because you teach I can't have a hat on when I teach, but we teach that we can have a hat on. Right. And because we don't agree on that topic now, we're not united. You're an idiot if your perception is that myopic. Right. You're, you're, you're worse than that. You are infantile in the the, 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 the the comprehension level that you have in the faculties of your brain. And your, your, your cerebral cortex is underdeveloped if you think that that's what unity is. I raise you how about shimmy, I was shot, broke throw out the water. That's not what unity has to be. We're united and we're united front for this nation. That we understand that what we're doing is imperative to salvation and we prioritize it over everything. Every camp, don't, 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 don't get this twisted though. Every camp, everybody that goes out to the streets is not doing that though. Know that. Right? Know that. And it's more than the ones I just named. Don't get it twisted. I'm using that as an example. Huh. Right? But in some of y'all, even camps that are too busy watching and you're not doing any work. And you're being surpassed. You're being left in the Stone Age because you didn't build the house. Right. So now you're in the Stone Age. <laughs> right? Now you're living primitively because you didn't build. And that ain't nobody fault. But your goddamn self read that. It says, and afterwards, build thine house. Uh -huh. Be not a witness against thy neighbor uh -huh. without cause. Right? They say what? Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause. Y'all don't even have a cause. It ain't even no cause, man. Damn it, go to work. Just go to work, man. Don't be sitting there talking about, you know, well, when they did this. Well, why they show up for Kyrie? Right. Uh, uh, you know, whatever the hell. I am trying to help. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why? Right. Right. Hey, listen, shut the hell up and go to work. Right? I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem. Racha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is what the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much this is going to be a video that you've just seen in the intro concerning Sakari and IUIC uniting. Now, 
one thing I want to stress is, you know, there's multiple ways of selling out. You know, you got people that sell out under the 501c3 charter. You know, you have people that um, sell out to something called a Rossecution order. You know, you could search that up. And pretty much under that Rossecution order, you know, all religious groups, they can't talk about one another and they have to unite under one banner. Now, these dudes, you know, they call themselves, um, I think it's called Masharel Yasharal or something to that effect, you know, with the purple flag and, and all that. But um, the thing is, you know, you have to be careful on how you build. All right. Just because there's strength in numbers, that doesn't mean that the truth is there. You know, that doesn't mean that that's the group or groups you should be following. You know, the scriptures talk about having um, a solid foundation, you know. So these dudes, they're spreading confusion by coming together. And Sakari talking about he's 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 talking about Great Millstone. He's saying camps. You know, if you got all these camps coming together, you know, what what camp isn't coming together? Great Millstone. Why? Because through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, all groups outside of Great Millstone have been exposed. You know, they're teaching false doctrines. They're teaching another gospel. Why? Because the God of this world have blinded the minds of them because they don't believe. All right. But the thing is, Sakari, they pretty much learned their doctrine from Apostle Tahar, you know, Apostle Gabal, Apostle Rechai, Apostle... A ram lob. He learned it from the apostles first and foremost and the elders and the men of Great Millstone. You know? So the scriptures talk about that in Second Timothy the third chapter. How you're gonna have people that's bolsters, you know, um ungrateful guys, right? So this is what you're seeing. So you got different ways of selling out. You know, you got agents, you got agent provocateurs, you got spies. You got people that teach false doctrines. You got people that teach another gospel. You know, you have a lot of so-called anti-Messiahs out here. You got a lot of unbelievers, but they think that they're in the truth. All right. So I'm going to read this. This is 1 John 4.1. And as you can see on the title, Testing the Spirits. Just because a person been around for years, yeah, that's, that's a great thing, but... You know, what, what do they teach? You know, has their group been infiltrated? What separates, you know, one group from another group? You got to ask these questions, all right? The Bible says this, but then a group or other groups is teaching contrary to what the verse is saying. Somebody has to be right and somebody has to be wrong. The men that are right, it begins with the apostles, elders, and brothers of Great Millstone and the men that teach in like mind. All right. You can't be watching every Hebrew Israelite camp and thinking that oh, I'm in the truth. No, you got to stick to one camp and that camp you need to watch is Great Millstone. All right. We link up the Bible prophecies with the current events to understand the time period you're living in. We go into the secular history. We go into the law, statutes and commandments. You know, we go into the biblical timelines of the maps, so forth and so on. All your answers concerning life, death, and the scriptures, we go into that and we give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right? But the other groups, you know, you see them throwing up Masonic poses. They were cops, you know? A lot of these dudes, they still gangbangers. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. All right? So by you watching every single camp, that's going to lead to confusion. All right? Because one group is going to say this and it's going to contradict or is going to go contrary to what another camp is teaching. This is why groups shouldn't come together unless they are teaching the same exact thing. A hundred percent. All right. First John 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. You cannot believe every spirit. It doesn't matter how big the God beard is. It doesn't matter what his garment looks like. It don't matter, you know, how far back he went to one west. It don't matter if it's not found in righteousness. Who's the men that are found in righteousness? All right. The apostles, elders. All right. And um, 
Yeah, the apostles and elders of great millstone. All right. It says, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. How do you try the spirits? You ask questions. The Bible talks about the mark of the beast. The Bible talks about World War Three. The Bible talks about Jacob's trouble. The Bible talks about Gentiles being saved, but it's not talking about actual heathen Gentiles. It's talking about Israelites that was in the Gentile state of mind from the previous captivities we was under. You know, these are key things that a, a true man of the Lord will be breaking down to the sheep of Yahweh Shai, to Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai's flock. All right. As well as the name of the Lord being Yahweh, you know, his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name being Yahweh Shai. All right. The 12 tribes of Israel having the 12 tribes chart out there when, when you teach him. All right. Breaking down the judgments of the heathen. What's going to happen to them? You know, why Esau, the so-called white man, is in power? How you link it up to the scriptures? You know, Daniel, the second chapter, Revelation 13, so forth and so on. All right. Breaking down the difference between the true description of the Lord and this Christian image of the Messiah. All right. The Lord being the so-called black man. You know, um, the thermonuclear missiles, salvation through Yahweh Shai by the way of the so-called UFOs, so forth and so on. All right. These are things that a true teacher of the Lord will be breaking down. But when you identify all these groups, you know, when you start paying attention to their teachings, they're in a disagreement with each other. All right. So somebody has to be wrong because the scriptures say what? And um, second Ezra the um, second chapter, I believe, all right? It says that what? How we stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And in Revelation, it says what? You know, that we had the truth. We were singing the song of Moses and of the Lamb. So somebody on this planet Earth has the truth. And what I'm telling you through the Spirit is those men are the men of great millstone and the ones that teach them like mine, all right? So First John 4 and 1, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. There's nothing wrong with asking questions. If a person is proclaiming themselves to be a teacher, they got the truth. You know, they this this high priest. They gave themselves this fancy ass title. Then they should be able to answer a question because what one brother doesn't know, another brother knows it. That's why you got on um, order. That's why you got young brothers like myself. And then above me, you know, you got the elders and you got the apostles. Right. So it says, but try the spirits, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world. All right. So there's a lot of false prophets. There's a lot of camps that they got a lot of subscribers and ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, they get a lot of comments. They got a lot of traffic. You know, they got a lot of Israelites that watch their own uh, videos. But the thing is, are you watching for entertainment? You know, are you watching Waiting for a fight to break out? You know, do you just want to hear the white man is the devil? Are you actually learning something? And for the men of the nation of Israel, are you being inspired to want to teach? You know, are you are you praying? You know, are they teaching you how to pray in the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? You know, because that's the main thing. It says, yep, to try the spirits whether they are of the most high. Because many false prophets are going out into the world. So when you read Matthew, the 24th chapter, Yahweh Shai said that before he comes back, that's one of the signs that will be occurring on the planet Earth. You will have a lot of false prophets. And who's some of them false prophets? All right. The heads of these camps. All right. It says, hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesseth. Right. And for you to confess something, you have to utter it. With your own words, you know, with your mouth and your speech. That Yahweh Shah HaMashiach is come in the flesh is of the Most High. So all these man-made religions, all these Christian denominations, is it's a false, it's a false doctrine. All right. It's another gospel. It's not the truth according to the Bible. Because the scriptures say what about Yahweh Shah? He will come through the sea line of David, of the tribe of Judah. All right. So in order for you to be born to have biological parents on the planet Earth, obviously, 
you know, his father Joseph got his mother Mary pregnant and she conceived, as the scriptures say in Luke the first chapter. And Yahweh Shah was born to do the will of the father. And he did it. So it says, and every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is come in the flesh. Everybody on the planet Earth, the way how you got to the planet Earth is because your mom and your dad had sex. And that's how you enter into the world. This is how the Heavenly Father ordained it. So anybody teaching an immaculate conception or anything similar to that, don't listen to that. That's a waste of time. All right. That's somebody that's trying to deceive you. That's somebody that has the wrong interpretation of the Bible. So it says, confess if not that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is come in the flesh is not of the Most High. So automatically Christianity, leave that shit alone. All right. Stop paying attention to that because the Bible is telling you it's identifying one of the characteristics of a false prophet that would be teaching an immaculate conception. All right. Because when you read in the scriptures, angels don't have sex. All right. When you die and you leave out of this fleshly body, there's, there's no sex going on in the heavens. All right. Continuing on, it says, and this is that spirit of Antichrist. What's an antichrist? An antichrist is just an unbeliever, all right? The antichrist is not an individual, you know, with horns. He's going to come out of the ocean, you know, with like a pitchfork and say, oh, all of you, you got to take the, the badge of the antichrist, you know, concerning the mark of the beast, which is the chip. No, an antichrist is similar, is, um, an antichrist is just an unbeliever, all right, to put it in simple words. So anybody that's an unbeliever and doesn't believe in the truth, they are an antichrist. All right. It says, whereof ye have heard that it should come and even now already it is in the world. All right. So we hope and pray that that's not our lot to be antichrist, you know, to be unbelievers, to be deceivers. This is on Romans chapter 16 and verse 17 it says now i beseech you brethren now the book of romans this was paul's epistle to the israelites that was at rome and this is what he said to them now i beseech you brethren all right so this this ain't even written to all people it's not written to you know all nations it's only written to the israelites the ones that believe the elect right now i beseech you brethren mark right let's go into this word mark Strong's G, 4648, Scapeo, Scapeo. To look at, observe. So when you're on YouTube, right, before you make that transition to want to, you know, meet these camps in person, right, you're watching them on YouTube for the most, um, the most part. Excuse me, you know, words getting twisted up. But for the most part, you start on YouTube, you're watching, you know, the, the um, different camps, mainly Great Millstone, Right. Or you might be passing by and you might see them. So what you normally do is you listening to like what they're saying. You, you observing the signs. All right. So to look at, observe, contemplate all these men, the men of the Lord, you know, because it's a controversy. Esau saying one thing, trying to demonize us in the media. Right. But then when you actually observe what we teach you, you're like, oh, no, these are the men of the Lord here to mark. To fix one's eye upon, direct one's attention to anyone, to, to look to, take heed to thyself. So Paul is saying what? Mark them, right? Which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. So these guys, Sakari, uh, Sons of Thunder, HOI is a box camp, you know, Wi-Fi, Watchmen for Israel, um, the camp that goes by the name of One Body in Yahushai, right? And all these other groups that's not teaching the 100% truth, IUIC, ISUPK, GOCC, all right? There's, there's so many false camps, and it starts with the leadership. The Lord is going to destroy them, all right? Because it's balance. You know, we understand that you're going to have followers that defect out of these groups and start um, accepting the truth because the elect is within all groups, but the, the leadership, the Lord is going to destroy them for teaching false doctrine. So those are the ones that you avoid. 
All right, unsubscribe from their channels. You know, don't don't um don't listen to any of their words. Don't contact them. It says, for they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but their own bellies. Yeah, they have their own agendas. All right. And a lot of their agendas is to what? To um take your resources, take your hard earned money, and their agendas go back to Esau's agendas, which is the to um deceive you. All right, to control the population, to control the narrative, to control our people and separate them from the Most High and the Son, right? And by good words and fair speeches, deceive the hearts of the simple because you're looking on the outward appearance. You're looking at this man's beard. You're looking at his hair. You're looking at the way he talks. You think it's elegant. You think that's what being a man of the Lord is, but it's not. It's just teaching the right thing. All right. And enduring unto the end, even if that involves death. All right. Even if that involves the world hating you, you do it anyway, because it pleases Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. So that's what these groups are guilty of doing. You know, you see them on all these different podcasts, these different radio shows. Right. And you thinking that, oh, yeah, I know that group. Oh, yeah, they make it big moves. But in reality, they are a bunch of sellouts. Now, this is first Corinthians one and ten. Now I beseech you, brethren, and this is another epistle or a letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Israelites in Corinth, Greece, which the Corinthians, they was into a lot of um, Greek mythology. All right. It says, now I beseech you, brethren, right, by the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing. So you got to speak the same thing. But back during the time of the Roman Empire, they believed in a lot of different philosophies and doctrines, mainly Greek mythology. All right. Which later on transitioned to what? The, the Roman mythology. All right. Because you see, like the gods is very similar that they worship, which are no gods. It says, and that there be no divisions among you. So you got Sakari, IUIC, and all these different camps coming together. One camp is saying... Chicken is unlawful, but then you you there with them in the unified camp, right? The Hebrew unity camp, and you don't believe that shit. So why why would you team up with a person that doesn't believe in what you believe in? How is that being unified if y'all not teaching the same thing, right? And that there be no divisions among you. So it's not supposed to be any divisions if you're uniting with one another. Y'all supposed to believe in the same doctrine. So it says, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind. Meaning what? You got to believe in the same doctrine. All right. One person can't be preaching this gospel and another person is teaching something else. Both of you or one of you is a liar. So it says in the same mind and in the same judgment. And that's what goes on. All right. These camps, they be going off in the sense of they be teaching the wrong thing. And none of the other groups that supported the Hebrew unity camps rebuke them. They don't get on one another. Why is that? But when it come to Great Millstone, you know, they, they quick to attack. Let's get this. This is Amos 3 and 3. It says, can two walk together except they be agreed? All right. So that's the only way you could unify with a person. That's the only way you could come together with a person if they teach the same exact thing. All right. Philippians two and two, it says, fulfill ye. Matter of fact, I'll start at verse one. This is dealing with what? Be like Hamashiach Yehoshai, right? It says, if there be therefore any consolation in Hamashiach, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like minded. All right. Let's go into this word like minded. Strong G 5426. Strong's G 5426. Franeo. Franeo. To have understanding, be wise. All right, let's see what else it says. To be of the same mind, i.e. agree together. Cherish the same views. Be harmonious. All right? 
So there you go. You got to be in the same mind, meaning you got to teach the same doctrine. One person can't say one thing, and in your teachings that you learned from a man of the Lord, he taught you something else. No, somebody got to be lying. All right? So it says, Philippians 2 and 2, Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. And that's that's what Alazar is guilty of. Because he's so busy trying to be like Apostle. Well, he's trying to imitate Apostle Tar. You know, he's talking about he's the, the leader of the nation now. You know, he's saying that, um, you know, Apostle Taha is, oh, this, these are words that he said. I'm not like making this up. All right. But he's, he's proclaiming himself to be this, this high priest. I'm the leader of the nation now. Right. But that's through strife and vainglory. All right. And in the intro of the clip, he's talking about great millstone clearly. But anyways, it says, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. All right. So that's what we do. When a brother does good, you know, we compliment him. So this is first John two and 19. I'm ended with this. They went out from us, but they were not of us. Yeah. Cause you know, Alazar, he used to be down with um great millstone. I seen the old videos, you know, the GMS San Diego. All right. I seen it, you know, but now he's teaching something else. You know, it says they went out from us, but they were not of us. Yeah. You know, you can have a guy teach that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip implant. But then other parts of the gospel and doctrine that they teach, they're not in agreement with us. All right. So they don't have 100 percent truth as Sakari. It says they went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. So Sakari, technically, they teach another gospel, all right? It says, but they went out that they may be manifest that they were not all of us. And how do you know that? Based off of the doctrine that they teach, based off of the gospel that they're teaching to the people. It's not the same doctrine as Great Millstone, all right? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Lord willing, he was edified by the lesson. Shalom.